O oh my child, your sign is here, the answer to your prayers. You may cry in secret through the night, in your agony and strife, but know this, I am with you. My decision to speak to you is intentional. This is a precise moment in time. You are hearing my words at a time when you need my voice in your heart more than you can know. My spirit is with you in this hour, wrapping you in my strength and my peace because you sensed my desire to speak with you. And in this perfect moment, you can feel that all-encompassing love of mine, filling you with faith and the exact words you must hear. Today is the day you've cleared the door of your heart. Today is the day you've opened it. Today you are allowing my voice to enter in, to confirm the vow you've made to trust me, to place all your hope and all your faith in my keeping. Believe in your heart that you are not talking to yourself. Believe that I hear all that you say, that nothing that you need to ask, to confess, to affirm, or to declare will go unheard by me. Believe that I heard your very first whispered prayer, and because you called out to me, I sent an angel from my throne above, who now carries the key that will open your prison door. You are precious to me. There is a battle for your soul, a struggle, an invisible conflict, but as real as the air you breathe. The evil one wants to pull you down so you don't take the prize, but my angels are fighting for you. They are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the forces of darkness for you. There are things that have happened to you that are not coincidences. From now on, be careful where you step and what you say, be careful what you reveal, and be careful who you let into your life. He goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. With his tempting words, he tries to take you down and wreck your trust. Imagine a world where miracles and wonders walk with you every day. You're going through a lot of heavy things now, but things will pass. The cup of bitterness is soon going to lift. Those who have wronged you, they're going to crawl to you on their bellies to beg you forgiveness. And you're going to say, Welcome to the grace of God. Welcome back home. But trust me only, these people. They'll try to promise you the sky and the moon and the stars. But it's me. I'm the only one who can really bless you and cover you. And my words are the only truth. And I don't fail. And I don't lie like humans. Beware if you begin to cast your faith where it will be blown about on the next breeze of human promises. Your blessings could then be removed, like dust in the wind, perhaps forever. Your time is at hand. Fix your faith on my rock eternal, powerful and true. The moment of choice is soon at hand. My love, my comfort, my embrace, my peace. Talk to me every morning and take your strength and direction from my word. I've been waiting for you. My door is open, my ears attentive. Whatever mood, loose your tongue and whisper your fears to me in the stillness before dawn. You have lived through the fear storms of difficulty, the distressful moments filled with anxiety and coated with harshness. If you want peace, then you have it, and I will fill your heart with courage. When you are confronted with trials, there will be peace there. If weakness comes upon you, then strength will be right there with you, and fear will not overwhelm you. Hang on to my promises, and when you are feeling weak, come near to me. Remember that I am with you always. Don't let your doubt deprive you of the mercies that wait on your way. I pronounce the blessings upon you. The act of blessing comes from the love upon you, and why I lavish my favor and mercy upon you. It's because you are dear to me. My covenant of mercy is with you, According as I have shown to you, you are to know that it is my undying love that I have for you. Come, my blessed child. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the world's foundation. From this day forward, all that belongs to your father shall be yours, and all you have shall be given to me. For I am your father, and you are my child. I will reveal all things to you, my child. It is a glorious day today a day of victory and celebration for you. With my own blood I have sealed these promises for you. You will have an abundance of joy. It will be with you forever. Never again will there be tears and pain. It is a sign for you. Look up. What you're after will come toward you. That which you need will be yours, and help is on the way. Everything you'll ever need is here for you right now. 
I love you. It's a demonstration of that today. Say you love me. Say you believe in me. Be not afraid. My child, do not be afraid, for I cannot be absent from your side. I will be with you, and all that you wish I will do, and my great power will be manifest in your life, and all that is bad I will turn into good. You are most precious to me. You are honorable in my esteem. There shall no evil happen to you, to hurt you. Yes, it is I that make and fit all things for your sakes, and you shall henceforth evermore be my dear child. Therefore follow my ways and walk in my paths, for you know not how I see you. Do you know how many dangers that I have spared you? Don't doubt that your prayers are heard, all the things that are getting in your way. All of these obstacles are my answers to your prayers that I should shield you from harm, from bad situations, and from bad people. I am listening to those prayers of yours and I'm taking you out of these situations. I am removing you from them. Breathe in, breathe out. I want to bring peace and comfort to your heart. I want to show you how things really are, the truth. Believe me, have faith, for I am always at work in your life, just waiting for you, dear one. I am waiting for you, so that I can bless you, so that I may fill you with the blessings that I have prepared for you. However, such provisions take time, know that I'm creating quietly behind the scenes, moving insurmountable obstacles and unseen dangers out from under your feet. When there is a path forward for you, when the time is ripe, you will step onto it with joy. Remember this, I have never left. I have been with you all along, never breaking any of my promises. Now you do your part. You put your trust into me. Summon your courage and deep feelings. Rise from your deep mourning. I am here in your soul. I am comforting you, healing you. In your darkest hours, you have never been alone. I was with you there. Dispel any thought that I am holding something back. I am not. Such a thing shall never be. Be assured of this, my dear one, that I love you with an everlasting love. I have heard your lament for your weary patience. Maybe you say you cannot go on. Maybe you say there is no way out. Perhaps you are searching in all the wrong places, because the doorway has always been there before you. For I am your way and your hope, your doorway of truth and your future as well. Believe in me and you shall navigate your way through your challenges according to my timing and according to my leading. For I shall replenish your patience, should it falter. Your strength and your peace shall be renewed by me. This is not the time to give up now. You are verging upon fulfilling your dreams. Plunge deeper into your trust in me, for there is no missing what I could supply should you desire it. Ask me if you will and I shall present my aid. Beware lest you hurt what you have achieved by going astray. To you who already proved your faith, walk now in sure steps, sure and wise. This place for you, your blessing and prosperity, you will find. Before long you will find it and you think back and be glad for the road I took where you also walked. A new sunrise of mighty blessings for you, ready now to receive the precious things I carefully treasured for you. Go to that place, leaving all those tired moments and that feeling of having failed. Listen to me. None of my children are failures. None of your children are failures. I treasure them. I empower them. I lift and love them. Lift them dust them, and then again they come to me, and I say, it's all right. With patience, they stand up. They brush themselves off, put their heads down, pull their shoulders back and march on. Let me assure you, you have not failed. The devil uses your fears against you, against your own interests. He causes you to hurt yourself and others, so that you can lose all your possessions and I may come to redeem all that you have lost. Be a person of restored emotions. So enough with the self-disparagement, either for your past mistakes or your present shortcomings. I ask you to build up your faith, to rely on me even more fully than ever before. I will challenge you to do things that in all actuality may seem impossible. But know this, I chose you to be a source of blessing to all whom you love. Your past may have wounded you, 
traumatizing you, filling you with fear about the future. You lived for a time being crushed under the weight of your own negative thoughts, hobbled by a most painful past. Now, you know what does and doesn't work in your life. You are wiser. Your life path is right and you are aligned with my will bringing forth success within you and moving you into a new chapter and new season of spectacular experiences. These coming blessings will propel you forward with faith, fortitude, and joy. Embrace them. They are for you. I am about to pour out blessings upon your life so that it shall overflow with abundance and you shall cry with joy. Be patient. I have my ear open to you. I am listening, protecting and directing you. I am the healer that you may be free. I am the deliverer, your life rescuer. I am your life sustainer. Seek me with your whole heart and remember my miracles. Let your heart be filled with peace and let there be stillness. Be still, listen, and allow your spirit to be nourished by my word. Feel my spirit touching you. Now is the time of reversal. Banish anger and bad companions. Today your baptism in the stream of my love commences. Welcome this change, and let me drench you in my eternal love. When I whisper to you sweetly, receive my words in your heart. When by my soft voice I call you, then answer to that call for you shall never be so blessed. And when I correct you firmly, there you must be nearest all my love, for it is to save you I am so stern and vehement. I bear my strength to bring weakness into subjection. I save you from affliction, I loose the repenting soul. I am your mainstay, your strength. I see all your requests of faith I hear I grant. I listen to you every morning. Your words come from faith in me that it will be granted. In times of weariness, I sit with you since I already know of the weakness and suffering you endure. Come to me and rest here, talk to me, I am your friend. I am not the one to judge your secrets. My words will steer your mind from the regrets of the past to the miracles of the present and the opportunities of the future. Those who accept the future bravely, who continue on in faith, holding steadfast, shall have their triumph. The path to reconciliation is open. Enter it with forgiveness in mind. Be worthy, be great. You are destined to raise up others. Believe in this, prepare for it. Be not afraid, be not dismayed, for I am your God. You shall eat the abundance of my food. You shall be satisfied with the wealth of my glory. You shall be at the full table of delight. I do wonders always and at all times. I will reveal my loving kindness in the midst of the earth without fail. I handle every single detail of your existence. And for those blessings that are not yet visible, express gratitude for them too. Pray with joy and assurance. Your words ascend to my throne as weapons against attacks of hopelessness, unbelief, and negativity. Now echo your thanks out loud, put your hands in the air as you wage this spiritual warfare, and then banish all unwholesomeness. Your home is being cleansed, soon to be filled with peace. Open your doors and windows confidently. No harm will come to you. My angels are encamped around your loved ones, protecting you from any spiritual attack. Before you breathed, I looked upon you with love and called you forth, that I endowed you with an indomitable spirit and the strength of a conqueror. I tempered you and made you stronger. Now hear my words. They will lull you into peace but they will also catapult you into the great purpose towards which I am accomplishing all things. I'm calling you to realize my will. It is by my word that you are nourished. Now is the moment on this day. There is no turning back. You yourself are now embedded with supernatural protection. Stretch wide your dreams. Be here now. Victory lives deep inside of you. Feel my love. I am the calm after the storm many blessings will be showered upon you. As long as you are hearing this, right where you are, know that I love you. Let that love inhabit your heart completely, so no sorrow remains, and so joy and ecstasy bind themselves to you. Let go of the burden of your shoulders, feel the lightness in your feet, the strength renewed in your arms. Stand firm, for this is not the time to stumble. Victory is close at hand. Even when tempests roar and winds rage caustic and unyielding, your resolve remains steadfast, unbroken by the storm. There'll no longer be lack. I'll make you whole. 
Your pains are past and gone forever. You have a glorious surprise ahead, just beyond this veil of grief and strife. It's a boundless theme whose wonders no mortal heart could grasp its height. It's to burst with joy without restraint and not alone, for multitudes will join you in it. Your faith and your zeal are all important. Your persistent prayer is essential. Rid your mind of distractions that do you no good. Anything that diminishes your trust in my words. Anything that makes you doubt your value and the work unfolding before you. Avoid those who may try to convince you that believing in me is too difficult. Some will smile at you. They seek your approval under false pretenses. This is my word and this is my warning unto you. Listen not to what they whisper. Soon your trials will be done. All will then be over. All will become dust. Be strong in your faith. Your family will be together in full grace and love. My favor and blessing shall again be upon you. I will restore that which was lost. Don't you ever forget, I am your heavenly father, your God, your friend. What you mean to me is everything. It's hard on me to hear your concerns, but I keep my ears open always. I love you so much I feel your hurt. Believe me, even though it may seem like I am not there, I'm there even if it feels like I am not. My heart is broken. It hurts me so bad, especially in your darkest moments. You will not be forgotten. I will never turn my back on you. I choose to stay today as on all days. I'm with your angels all around. You stay the course, we stay the course. Through the times when you don't have the will, you'll find plenty of rocks and stumbling points. But I tell you this, if you plod on, if you keep going, nothing shall separate you from my ultimate happiness. I have placed an anointing of peace in your heart, and I'm always thinking of you. Right here, right now, I'm setting things in motion and arranging beautiful things for your life. Things that will add real value and help you see a future and take hold of the astonishing potential you have in your life. I'll place you in a safe place. Even if the world falls apart all around, rest assured, I'm keeping you safe. I know everything about you. You can leave nothing unspoken. I know all your darkest fears and hopes, all your catastrophes and celebrations. Not one of them changes my affections for you at all. Only they will move you to transform every disaster in your life into success. Wherever you go, I will be with you. Your worst mistakes will be your stepping stones towards greatness, for my grace will cover over your sins. I am ready to transform your life, to pour out blessings over you that you have never even imagined, but only if you have faith, deep faith, in me daily, and only if you're continually grateful and continually working to get better, to pray more, to open yourself up to me so that I can pour out those blessings through our conversations. I want you to view your prayer with me as a doorway through which I send opportunities, healing, and other blessings through. And then unbidden your blessing will come. I swear by my spirit that lives, and I vow to you longevity of days, filled with well-being as vast as the vastness of the heavens above and the earth below. I swear to you lengthened days, filled with satisfaction as surpassing my goodness and keeping of promise. Do not grieve or be dejected over the promises I have made, for everything will come to pass at the appointed time. You and your household will see what I do to you. Take note of it. I am the Lord. I do not threaten you, but speak words to warn you in order that you may turn away from your evil ways. I have placed angels to guard you. They warn you to listen for the trumpet's call. Your enemies gather, seeking your destruction. Yet I sweep away your wrongdoings like mist and cast your sins into the sea's depths. Return to me wholeheartedly. Admit your faults, and I will answer, mending your wounded spirit. For I despise wickedness, but delight in righteousness. I am the Lord, your healer. My light shines upon the nations, revealing your salvation to all. So you go on with more courage. When I see you, I notice how much you work around the hope that is in your heart. You remain pure among your people, your friends, and those whom you love dearly. Your light will shine and someone special will enter into your life. It will bring you much serenity and inner peace. Brighter days are coming, 
and I'm watching to see your opportunity grow. It is now time for you to make some changes, try something new, and follow in the footsteps that I have laid out. The changes in your life and your path will be for the better. Keep going and allow me to work in your life. I will show you peace in the midst of turmoil and great hardships. I have plans for you, and it is filled with hope for your future. Through the renewing power of my love, you will have the strength to go on with each step you take and with each decision you make. I love you very much. I will take you out of your wilderness, lead you to victory, and the deep joy you long for because of my great love for you. You are of great worth to me, and I have a great mission and purpose for your life. Listen to these words for their true and life-giving. I know that the tests have been hard and cast a shadow over your everyday joy, but listen to me here today. Your pain will become your power. This is the end of your struggle and the beginning of a miracle in your life. For many days you endured life. From this day forward, that dry path through this desert is done. With all the ways the world has tried to blur your vision and trouble your faith, it still could not defeat you. You pass through many long and hard days, and what I start in you, I will complete. Everywhere your life is seen, everyone will know the miracle of the Spirit. My wisdom shall help you solve the problems you endured during the long, lonely years of drought and weariness. You kept your faith in me, loved me, and loved your family. You were strong. You endured. And now I pour out my blessings of success and love to fill you with my spirit of healing, my love flowing within you, the covenant between us, everlasting and unbroken. You may be assured that I hear your prayers. I have been waiting and I listened for your voice. Whenever you call upon me, calling out to the Most High, to the Creator of the earth and all the heavens, to the Holy One and King of Israel, you cannot fail to be heard. Now you stand upon the brink of the season of miracles and wonders, being rewarded for being loyal, faithful, and trusting in handing over your future to me. I will not let you down, for my love has always been there for you. I know the plans I have for you, plans for your welfare, to give you a future filled with hope. You are telling me about the desires of your heart that you have so earnestly prayed for, and I know. Share them again with me, your wishes, your dreams. I will listen from the heavens and fulfill the needs of your heart. Remember, my love for you is never-ending, and I am walking alongside you at all times, providing you with the safest place, a sure refuge, and your constant ally. My love goes everywhere, and I'll always keep my promise to you. I'm always watching out for you. I'll keep guiding you through the good and bad times in life. I'm taking you to a special place in life. Draw from my love, my power, and my promise. Affixed by my sacred blood, the gifts of my sacrifice. These are answers too profound for you to question. In every lesson I give, the presence of my love, my protection, and my promise shall surround you. Together we will forge ahead, facing and tackling each obstacle with a brave heart and hopeful stride. We shall journey side by side, be it toward the lowest depths of solemn darkness or the sunny sides of a joyful day, unto the hour of my triumphant return, my glory and my mercy shall find you. These are the blessings you have that no one can take from you, that you are mine and I am yours, and that wherever I am, you will be with me, and that you will be led to me, to pray to me, and to live in me from now and forever. I have opened the gates of my heaven to you, and you with your angels ascend to me and enter into the joys of heaven through the everlasting perfection of your faith. By your shining in heaven, all who distrusted you in this life will be redeemed and restored in their faith. All who envied you, hated you, or didn't want to see you anywhere on earth will be brought back to trust in their highest good. You have endured much, and through the loud murmur of your enemies and adversaries, hear how the devil has sown in the hearts of those who sought to harm you. They mistreated you, made you weep. But your faith, being witnessed in the fiery substances of these trials, came out purified and polished as gold. Your affliction has yielded strength. Your fear has taken flight. Your anxiety has left, 
and your sadness has turned into joy. Great are the bounties before you. I am printed on the slate of your heart. It won't fade. When you arise in the morning, these words will ring in your ears. You will awake no more to shed tears of sorrow or pain, as if you were a wanderer in darkness. The yoke is broken and the chains are torn. Every curse that bound you is disrupted. Take my word, hold it close, etch it on the deepest part of your mind, write it down, put it in the front of your Bible, do as I say, and you will find a strength within yourself such as you have never known before. You will be as the eagle that is high in the mountains, ready for the day when you may receive the blessings I shall give you. Come again tomorrow, lay your Bible by your bed, and in the stillness of the early morning hours, I will awaken you. I will speak the words of direction into your ears. I will show you words from the writings of the prophets, and you will receive from me visions which have been prepared especially for you. For nothing shall hurt you. I open the doors of heaven to you. Nothing is impossible for me, and through faith nothing shall be impossible for you. You stood with me. You never once wavered in your faith in me. Seek me now, for I am your father, and you are my child. I will answer you with everything. Pray every morning. Open the door of your heart to me at dawn. If the clouds surround you and you cannot see, do not grieve. I am with you in light or darkness, in joy or sorrow. I will not forsake you. Come to me every day and greet me with joy. Speak to me intimately. Tell me what is in your heart. I love to listen and answer. Listen to my voice. Each time you listen, your faith will increase. Your confidence in my word will deepen, and more things will happen. You are entering a new realm of the supernatural dimension. You'll hear my voice more in your heart. You'll hear my leading more in your steps. You'll sense our closeness more. You'll understand more of things that once you could not understand. That's why I'm asking you to seek me daily with the same faith, continually. On days when your spirit is low and your desire to reach out is small, talk to me. Cry aloud. Ascend. Raise your hands to the heavens. Invoke the power of faith. I am here, child, to elevate you and encourage you to bring forth your voice. Say it again. I love you. Call me. Seek me. Speak to me and make your requests of me. The enemy is trying to discourage the encouragement I bring. He places seeds of doubt in your imagination. Your faith is useless, he says. God is not listening to you, but I told you so. You are prepared. When the enemy launches his onslaught, you are not alone. You are my child and I love you very much. My highest priority is to guard and defend you. I am by your side, fighting for you, wielding the mighty sword of my word to remove the enemy from your house. I will flood your heart with the fire of my glory. I love you. I am listening to you. I will pour out my blessing on you. Believe me, I am yours. Continue to seek me. I know your pain. Know that I love you. Know also that I love you when your heart is breaking with loss. And in your time of weakness, know that I will not judge you. Know that I am the one who can hold you up when danger is high. Know that there is only the bright road ahead for you. Know that thoughts of despair are powerless. Know that thoughts of defeat are vanishing. Know that shadows are retreating. Know that it is time for you to step forward. Know that I have renewed your joy today. Know that I have renewed your faith today. I have written steadfastness on your heart, renewed your eyes, and reminded you of my word, and told you not to listen to those who say you won't succeed. It doesn't matter what they say. Their unbelief will make them laugh at you. You don't need their permission to continue on your way and receive the crown of life. They will be defeated by their own decisions. If you are lonely or if you need help, I am with you. Soon you shall hold victory in your hand. This promise I give you. I am never late, for I always come at the moment you most need me. The pain and sadness of waiting should not be borne any longer. The torment of uncertainty about what will happen tears at your spirit. This is why I love you and I urge you now to share with me all of the worries that you carry. Don't go around passing your days in agony because of what the future holds. Keep your faith, keep it clear, and never let it go.
Put your trust in me because I will keep my promises. I said I would work miracles. I said I would open the doors you need to go through, and I'm going to go on working miracles. I'm going to go on opening those doors. Always in your company. Remember, I am he who makes both sunlight and nighttime, and I know your wakefulness, your tossing and turning over anxieties that lie safe in my hands. When anguish assails you stand again. When anxiety lays hold claim upon you, assert that fear has no dominion over you, for you have set your mind upon me, the companion of your soul, the God of your salvation and your confidence. Behold me as your fears will flee, they shall never return. See, I have loosed your yoke. Remember it well, and rest in my peace. In your struggles truly, let me whisper in your ear, my yoke is easy upon you, and I shall strengthen you through the affliction. Begin afresh. Bathe yourself in my word again. Fill your heart with my promises, and keep hope in me, for your steps are not yet complete. You have not come so far, only to fail now. You have to hope. For I am speaking to you now, O promising child, to fill you with faith and bravery and vigor, and to teach you to endure my delay. It's fine if your heart droops from the long wait. Have patience. Tell your heart not to fear. Your life, your dreams, your destiny. The reins are safely in my hands. The forces of this world are keen to wash away your memories of all those times I've been there for you. I command these winds and storms to cease. I'm not late. I'm here to take your hand and save you. Ask your heart if so many in the world have ever loved you as much as I do. Be not afraid, nor fall back. I strengthen you I do not destroy. I strengthen you for what you shall have to suffer with. I strengthen you that you may suffer no more. If your heart is weak and you find your courage lacking, I breathe fresh life into your spirit. Clear your mind and give you courage. I show you your enemies so you can fight them and put back what's missing in your heart where strength is drained. I decide who to save. I reach down from heaven and rescue you. I greatly bless you. I am your strength. I take you and make you my own. Walk in the gifts I have given, whether their weight is as tiny as a blade of grass or heavy as a house. They are my glory. This is not advice. This is an imperative. You must get rid of all the doubts that weigh on your low opinion of yourself and all the glories you can accomplish with my aid and power. You must believe that you are not alone. I have shown you this so clearly, you have no reason to doubt. I have given you all the weapons wherewith you can win. You must trust me. My spirit dwells in you. I have endowed you with all prudence to get you out of the most perilous straits, so that with my help you shall conquer all those that shall make war upon you. You shall have the mastery of everything that power can perform, and you shall tread down all the hosts of the enemy. I will deliver you. Receive this, and relax, and let go. If you look forward, they are not before you. If you look around, they are not around you. If you look up, they are not above you. If you look down, they are not beneath you. For I am your father, and you are my child. For I will give you power to overcome your adversaries, so you can handle those who oppose you, with my fear shattering them your light breaking through their darkness, and my victory with you against them, with my blessing over you and their curse against you, with my storm breaking over them and my peace upon you. As a child of mine, you are guarded by thousands of angels, so that not one of your feet stumbles, but you are held up in the thickest darkness of the storms. Rise up, I anointed you with oil, and nothing can be against you when you have me on your side. I am here to defend you and strengthen you, so that you get up that your feet do not give way, that your faith will not fail. You're precious to me, and never will I let you be debited because your victory is my victory. Amen?